One week after a triple overtime win put them in the national spotlight, Georgia Southern is back in Statesboro for homecoming. They're trying to get back over 500 today, and they're big favorites against New Mexico State, who's still looking for their first win of the year. You're watching the Sunbelt Conference on ESPN. Even a 500 after a triple overtime win against Coastal Carolina last weekend. Wes Kennedy back to receive. And he signals for a fair catch. And what a great. It'll be interesting to see how he continues from that win last Saturday. J.D. King and Wes Kennedy, the two running backs for Georgia Southern. They dive forward for a gain of three or four yards on the play on their first of the game and just in terms of his performance. I think this was the best that he's looked all season. I mean, when we, we talked about it last week and the situation that was going on with J.D. King, how... That's the redshirt sophomore out of Venice, Florida. You know, it'll be interesting to see how much of C.F. LaRoche. He only had three carries against Coastal last week. They'll run the option. They'll get it to Kennedy. Up to the 37 or 38-yard line. Stop for a gain of about four on the play. That ball's on the ground, and New Mexico State says they have it, and they do. It's Rashi Hodge. Redshirt sophomore Josh Atkins is one of the leaders in the country in passes and completions per game. He swings it out to their leading receiver on the year, Tony Nicholson. Gets down to around the 30, bringing up second down. And Michigan, he did have a solid game, three touchdowns. Did throw one interception. Logo go on the ground here, back to Jason. Third down and two. They'll go back to the ground. This is Christian Gibson, their number two running back. He's up to the 26, and he got awfully close to the... Our new first down here for Atkins. They pitch it on the outside to Gibson for the second straight play, but the defense there to gobble him up around the 25. Really good stop. Head coach Doug Martin says that he is the best leader he has coached in college football since he coached Julian Edelman back at Kent State. And what's interesting for Atkins as he bounces outside. Comes to the near side. Easy high percentage pass down there to Robert Downs, school quarterback. And you know what they say about that? Third down at a short four. Goes far side. That's the first pass of the day to Navion Mitchell. He dove forward toward the 15. Wide open formation here for Atkins. Feed the ground game, falling forward. And it looks like they'll convert by about a yard. Be wary of where he is. New first down into the red zone this time. Atkins swings out one of those passes, and this time he's got Christian Gibson and taken down pretty fast by Montwavian. Um, this is similar to what we saw last week against Coastal, where, where we had a tropical storm make its way through the area, and it was just very consistent rain that, that took place all day. This is a little bit different. It's been pouring on for the last 30, 45 minutes, and it's not letting up anytime soon. All right, no huddle here for the... Trying to take the Eagles off their guard. First and goal from inside the two. Back to Gibson in the defensive line with a great stop for Georgia Southern pushing him back. Just a pile of bodies. Looks like Elijah Campbell got to him first. Able to take that line. Made some key sacks. Back to Gibson. He's got a blocker. Rather, that's Huntley, and he's into the end zone. New Mexico State strikes on their first drive. Uh, that did not take long, and that fumble really hurt Georgia Southern. The question is going to be how Georgia Southern answers back after that strip. From Dylan Brown. That one is good, and New Mexico State takes advantage. Really, really did hurt them on the first drive, so we'll see how the Eagles can, can bounce back. Low line drive kick. Kennedy is going to let that one roll out of the end zone and take it to the 25. Oh, look at that. And you can see just how much it's affecting it. We're calling it Lake Paulson today. And bless the students that showed up and the folks around the Savannah area as well. So Georgia Southern actually got the ball on a kick return to begin this game, but fumbled it away on their first series. Start the second series by feeding J.D. King and the defense there to stop him pretty fast. Cedric Wilcox, the D lineman there to slow him down for the rest of the team. Backs and Wesley Kennedy and J.D. King. 
They're going to call that one a loss of two on the play. Wirtz goes to Kennedy and the defense there to meet him. But he turns the corner past the 40-yard line and down the sideline he goes. Two more as he cuts back to midfield. And there goes Wes Kennedy. 70 yards. Touchdown, Southern. That's his third touchdown of the year, and it's back to a one-point game. Rather his fourth. Well, we've talked about the great way for Georgia Southern to answer back after on the first drive of the series, first series they had, they fumbled the ball. And it might be hard to see on your individual TV screens at home, but look at the water. Statesboro. Pass to kick it away. Over the head of Huntley, and that one goes out of the back of the end. Now the question is, what's going to happen with New Mexico State? Because the average, only 105 yards rushing, but a majority of their offense comes through the air. First play of that next drive, they feed Huntley. Spun down by the defensive line, Rashad Bird first among equals there. and Technical difficulties there for a moment. Yeah, sorry about that. As you might expect, the rain is messing with some of this broadcast technology, but down goes Atkins. And it's Vleem who got to him first. Big, long third down coming up next. All right, third down and 17. They'll keep it on the ground and just go to Huntley. Comes to the near side. Can't even get to the 20-yard line, and the defense is there to stop him. Kendrick Duncan Jr. in the backfield. And you know the Eagles got to be having to have Duncan back on the field because last week... Foot in the ground if you're New Mexico State. Well, that and Vleem has done a good job getting to the quarterback. That punt is away from Peyton Thiesler. Down inside the 40 and... No helping any of these players when it comes to trying to get dry, and they're just playing through it the best they can. Greg. All right, thank you so much. Amy Shywartz on the keeper there, and it looks like he nearly let that... King and LaRoche in the backfield for Georgia Southern. Wirtz runs the option. LaRoche behind him. He's going to keep. Takes a couple of defenders with him. Gets two yards shy. It's stopping the run. Third down and two. King in the backfield. They're going to give it to him. He's got a head of steam and some space. J.D. King inside the 30 and down to the 22. Great run up the middle by King. They're able to get past a couple of defenders. Only needed two yards, but that burst of speed right there. Turns it up a notch. Got a couple of extra yardage. Good block up front by Mahomes. The Roshan King in the backfield. Wirtz runs the option and is taken down for a big. Let's out Mark Mashad to the top of your screen as the wide receiver. Only one safety back, but it's to the near side of the field. Second and 14, they'll stay on the ground and give it to King, but can't turn that into a 30-yard run this time, and he's only back to the 25 for maybe yet today. Third down and 13. Wurtz will look to throw, dumps it off to Kennedy. Can he get some space? Down to around the 20, rather inside the 16, the rain and the wind. Man off the edge, kick has the distance. And that one hooked, it's no good. We're going to stay tied. It's interesting to see what he's going to decide to do here. And first play of the new drive, they go to Huntley as he tries to catch the edge. Taken down for a loss around the 19-yard line, pushed out by Jay Bowdry. Cool games. A loss of San Diego State, New Mexico, Fresno State, Liberty, and Central Michigan. Atkins keeps it on play action, and he's taken down for a loss again. The Southern defense is swarming. Rashad Bird with his second tackle. and Yeah, at their homecoming. Good job by Rashad Bird to make that tackle on second down. Bad throw from Huntley off the hands of Robert Downs, and that one could have been picked off. Yeah, we're already seeing the effect here, but does have a proclivity to uh, make some throws that he probably shouldn't. Peyton puts it in the air. Kennedy's going to let this one bounce to the 41. He's going to pick this up and try to run. All right, here comes the Southern offense again. The defensive ends and linebackers have looked awfully good for this Aggies defense. New series from the 45, and Wurtz looks to throw downfield. He's uncorking one for Ransom over his head in coverage. 
no flag. The end zone for touchdowns in overtime. Aggies bring four. Eagles on the option. Wurtz goes down around the 42-yard line. And once again, it's Hodge. Big third. The worst mark in the conference, 26%. Shy looks to throw, one for one on the day. Instead, he'll tuck and run. Pass midfield, inside the 40, and here he goes to the near sideline. Wirtz inside the 20 to the 10, and down he goes into the red zone, and what a great way to end the quarter for Georgia Southern. Be about after a big breakaway run from Shy Wirtz, their quarterback, Eagles down to the Aggie 11 and trying to take the lead early in the second quarter. On the ground, first carry of the game out of the backfield for Jerry. He's back there in the backfield again. Let's see if they hand off to him again. Mashad to the near side is the wide receiver. And they'll feed him. Green behind a couple of blockers. Down to the one or two, and he stopped just shy. Take out a look here. Green off a good block. this year and on first down they'll feed King he shakes off a blocker and scores fire that cannon for the attempt a couple of minutes ago hits that one there but that would go he's only two kick return touchdowns shy of tying the college football career record he's going to run this one out because he touched it can he get out of the end zone the question is is it a safety or did he get it out I think he was just inches out he spun out I thought that one touched his hand I was wondering why it took him a can they get a big push on the Aggies O-line they take it from inside the one on the ground here to Christian Gibson he's got a head of steam in some space up past the 20 yard line toward the 25 that was a big saving run from their offense. The quarterback has been good so far, four for five, but short yardage completions, only 17 yards on those four passes. Goes back to Gibson, this time on a swing route, up past the 30 yard. Stopped his passing game, but Mother Nature also playing a factor as well. Here's Huntley trying to get around the defenders. Couple guys to bring him down. He's got a first down as he spins up toward. For sure. From the 40, Gibson falls forward to the 45, gets five yards out of it. And really, Jason Huntley has been their number one. He's just a more sturdy guy. So you got a power back and a speed back to mix and match in between with. And here goes the speed back. Huntley down to the southern 40 and a first down and a gain of 15. I mean, who we have yet to see. There should have been some flags called on that play because there was definitely some motion on both sides of the ball before the snap got off, but I don't think I saw any called. The referee was trying to get out the way. There was definitely a kind of mess there, but they were going to call that a loss of one yard and no flag. Get the ball off. Trying to catch Southern off guard and go up tempo here. Back to the ground. They feed Huntley and down he goes. What a it's Rashad play. Bird and Jay Bowdry. What a beautiful play by Jay Bowdry. Bowdry saw that from, yeah, this 3-4 defense is something else for Georgia Southern. It was a really great job. You see New Mexico State going five wide. Atkins five for six through the air today. He's got Clark as number two receiver on the air, and he is nowhere close. Chris Harris was the main returner the first couple of games of the year when Kennedy was out. That ball's on the ground. It's not going to get away. It's back around the 50. I think the Aggies dying to the 50. Flag comes in from the far side, but here's Wes Kennedy. One man to beat. He will score, but will it stand? Here we go. Sound like it's going to be on the Mexico State. And the pass hit one from this side of the field just a minute ago. 
And he does so again. So a tough start for Georgia Southern. In that third quarter, and the Eagles taking it away in the fourth to get that 48-31 to 31 win. Really Logan Wright's breakout game last year, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and for New Mexico State, by the linebackers, the, the front seven overall just doing a good job. First play of the new drive. Huntley is there. He manages to evade one defender before he's brought down by the seconds. That's Reynard Ellis. And, man, what a game he had last week. Half the blitz just about every play. All right, after a loss of four on the play, second down and 14 as they put Mitchell in motion. Atkins with a little dump off and a bad pass over the head of O.J. Clark. Has a couple of big tackles around the edge. We saw a great one by Jay Bowdry on that last drive. Third and 14. Here they come up the middle. Complete pass to about the 30-yard line. That's Isaiah Lottie. It's Georgia State. Georgia Southern. Greg, back to you. Good save there, Amy. High snap. That one down to around the 30-yard line. Takes a good Aggie bounce. Down toward the 22, and that's where Southern takes over as Kennedy lets that one roll out of bounds. We'll take it to break midway. Puddles and everything. I mean... It's another quality atmosphere here in Statesboro, similar to last week. Yeah, back-to-back -back weeks with really horrible weather, but Eagles managed to escape with a triple overtime win in that game and up a couple of touchdowns here as they feed J.D. King. He scampers. And also blitzing every now and then. It makes it tough for him to make the stop on the outside. Four down linemen for the Aggies. Inches to go for Southern. And they fall forward and pick it up. That's Speedy LaRoche. Say he hasn't technically needed to throw at all, but New Mexico State's offense is so passing centric that it really hurts them badly. Shy will throw. He's got the dump off route, and that's over the head of Matt LaRoche. Touchdown passes in overtime last week. That was something else. Yeah, and the first one is what got me the most because it was fourth down and three as J.D. King unable to go anywhere on that play, on that run. It was fourth down and three, and it was pretty in double overtime. By the way, there was even more gutsy because Shy had not thrown a touchdown pass yet this year until those. All right, here they come on third and long. Runs to the near side, up to the 42-yard line. He'll come up short, and that'll be fourth down with 6.40 to go. Just to see the rain continuing. There we go. Graphics are back. Good go. news. They don't call him the worldwide leader for nothing. <laughs> really great kick from Anthony Beck down inside the 15. That ball's on the ground. Lane Ekton is pointing that way, and Southern's got it. Entering this game, only nine touchdowns and 20 red zone trips. King and Kennedy in the backfield. J.D. King cutting up the middle again. Down to the one or the two-yard line and a first down in the process. Well, you see that formation. Here come the Eagles from the two. And that's four unanswered touchdowns from Georgia Southern. And it's the second of the day for J.D. King. King. With two touchdowns today. They're padding their stats here. Tyler Bass has it up and through, and it's 28 to 7. And I'll tell you, Danny, everyone here came down to the end zone for a safety because it went off his hands. Bass not afraid to give it to him this time, but that one's way too deep, and it'll fly out of the end zone into the 25 yard line. We that loss from the Eagles was 35 27 to Mexico State, and the Eagles dropped to 0 and 5 at the time. New Mexico State scoring two touchdowns in the fourth quarter to take the win. And this is Christian Gibson. He's been a big-time factor for them today <laughs> up to the 34-yard line. Four reps, and Gibson being utilized a lot more here today, just showing that he can go a little bit more. Second down and one. They'll go back to him. Mantic has a couple of guys with him. Spins forward to the 40 for a new first down, and again, if I'm going to go the rest of the way now. All right, here they come on a new first down. Huntley pushed to the side, and the whole defense there to meet him. Same for the offense as far as production, too. Certainly will be by the time the game's done, that's for sure. Here's Huntley trying to cut the corner. The 41-yard line, short game, bringing up a long third down. Downfield yet here in the first half. We'll see if he does here. Aggies just two for seven on third down tonight. Into coverage, bad throw! And it's picked off by Kendall Vildor, the first-team all-conference corner. 
and Vildor has to be happy to pick up his first interception of the season. He almost had one against Coastal Carolina, but it got called back due to a holding penalty. And there you see why Atkins hasn't gone downfield because the rain and the elements here is a bad throw, overshot his target. And Wait, why not four? Well, about to say, with a three-touchdown lead, get Gerald Green some more touches there, and he's in the backfield. So the true freshman, Gerald Green, takes the carry and taken down. Really great last-second tackle that time. First diamondback formation for Georgia Southern here in this half. All right, second down and eight. Here's Kennedy to the 50 with a block. Push out of bounds with 2.43 to go in the half, and Danny, they're going for one more touchdown. Yeah, trying to get one more. Breaking out that diamond backfield. Haven't seen the bobsled one yet tonight. It's J.D. King shaking off more tackles. He's been shedding guys today. He's down to the 38-yard line and close to a first. All right, second down and three. Mashad split to the top of your screen as the wideout. It's Kennedy inside the 30 for a first down, and that's going to put him about 140 on the day. I'll be shocked if he doesn't close out today with over 200 at this rate. I, th I think he will for sure. I mean, good job by Kennedy running up the middle, full head of steam. And the Eagles quickly getting back for the next play. All right, here's King. Not quite as many running yards today as Kennedy, but he's about 75. Gets back to around the line of scrimmage, and this will take us down to about 115. So second down and 10. Kennedy split out. That one's over his head. This looks like the main game all over again. Southern can't fall on it. We will see it is New Mexico State that gets to it first. It's Matthew Lung, the linebacker. Georgia Southern, a unit that was pretty strong when they got rolling last year, has had a lot of injuries that has kept the cast and crew a little bit suspect so far this year as it's taken down for a loss Gleam got there. Well, there's a lot of changes that happen to the O-line because you go from last year to this year, you, leave, you lose two of your starters due to graduation. Brian Miller so far. Yeah, this looks like a team that wanted to get out and play. Second down and nine. That one tipped and nearly intercepted, intended for Tony Nicholson. <laughs> Their leading receiver on the season who's only made one coverage. And look at Kendall Vildor dancing there on the bottom of your screen. Got to love that. They only bring three again. Back to the ground to Gibson. Scampers ahead to the 45. It'll take us down to about 50 seconds. So for now being desperation time for New Mexico State, just trying to move the ball downfield. You're seeing they're trying to pass more. You see those linemen more on the outside of the tackles and focusing on passing pass cover. Receivers out. So Atkins and look for a short pass, more than likely. Southern drops back. Atkins has Mitchell, and he's taken down short. That ball incomplete. Maybe it's just hard to catch the ball. And the Eagles is going to kneel it, go into the locker room. And Words does take an E back at the 45. They'll have to do one more, but all right, Danny, your thoughts on the first half. And, and just big plays made by both Kennedy and J.D. King, both with two touchdowns in the first half. We'll see if they can keep it up. All right, so we'll hear Chad Lunsford on the other end of halftime, but do you think he's happy going into the break? Absolutely. I mean, he has to be incredibly pleased with the way his team's performing. All right, so 28-7, to seven, our halftime score. Amy Zimmer. For the Aggies to go downfield, so maybe the intermediate passing game might be open for them, but they got to move the ball downfield quick. That went over Huntley's head, and we'll go from the 25-yard line. Although you work past it, here the second half starts. There he is under center. Jason Huntley flanking him in the backfield as they send Abraham in motion. And they'll pitch outside to Huntley behind a couple of blockers and gets barely past the line of scrimmage before Reynard Ellis is there for another half. Need to keep that same momentum as his game moves on. All right, second and ten, no gain on the play. Can't quite spin away to the outside and. Once again, it's Ellis back to back. Plus, I would say he's actually been the best defensive player. I mean, everyone stepped up in different situations for this defense. Look at Vleem almost getting the sack there. Atkins rolls, stays on his feet, looks downfield into coverage. He's got a man, and it's incomplete. 
would throw at Monquavian and Kendall, frankly. And also, this is the second team the Eagles have faced this season that really is a pass-first offense. The first one was LSU in the, home, in the season opener. Here's Kennedy to the 50. He's pointing out his blockers where he wants them. Kennedy inside the 20, and he will go. It's his third touchdown of the game. Wesley Kennedy, welcome back, and what a star you've been. Well, that was a blown up play from the very beginning. Yeah. And here's Bass. Not even giving Huntley the chance, which I'm a little surprised about considering that they almost made against Coastal Carolina. I mean, kudos to them. Love it. New first down and 10. This is Gibson up to about the 30 yard line and again a gain of five. And I'll tell you. For the Aggies. Yeah, he's been really great. Second down and six. Back to Huntley to go as he spins to the outside and he's taken down by Kendrick Duncan. Another great read by Duncan. Saw where the running back was. Teams they have coming up. Third down and four. Atkins to keep. And he's not going to get there. Only got to the 32 yard line, bringing up fourth down. And what I mean by. Really tough stretch coming up for Southern. We'll talk about that a little later in the game, too. Well, Kennedy's waiting there back at the 29-yard line. He just ran a punt back for a touchdown. And this will take a good Aggie bounce and roll it down around the 15-yard line, which is where Southern will take over, call it the 12 or the 13. We'll take a quick break here on ESPN3. Eagle on rushes, six carries for 53 yards. Had that big 46-yard run in the first half. We just really haven't seen him... Haven't seen him really get going as much. Nice run by him there as he scampers up to around the 20 yards of purposes as well. Second down and four. Back to the ground they go. It's King. He's got a first down as he spins forward to the 25-yard line and gets a couple more up toward the 30. All right, J.D. King, do your... The lead that the Eagles have, you should see LaRoche and Green get some more carries here in the second half. I would imagine we would as we get to the fourth quarter, probably. And that's exactly why they call him Speedy. Man, he got through that hole fast and turned it into a gain of eight or nine. I'd be shocked if they don't start making Kennedy the focal point of their offense outside of Shy Wirtz. Here's King behind a couple of great blocks into New Mexico State territory. You want to know something really interesting about J.D. King? I, mean, I do. yards rushing already here in this game. All right, Eagles from the 46. New first down. King with some space past the linebackers up to the 39 and bringing up second down and short. We're seven and a half yards per carry in this one. Second down and three. That diamond backfield. It's LaRoche. Shakes a couple of defenders down to the 30 for a nice first down and a gain of almost 10. And now you're seeing LaRoche getting. Mark Mashad split to the top of your screen. No deep safeties back near him. On a new first down, it's King. Tries to get to the outside. He's already got two touchdowns. Can he go for three? No, down to the 10. And that was close. He had great blockers. Yeah. It's Southern and how much the coaches wanted him. LaRoche down to the six. And for optimism for Southern. Here's Gerald Green taken down behind the line. Really good tackle along the outside by Javon Ferguson. And that's the first time. It's King stumbling down toward the three-yard line. That will bring up first down. I think he was a yard or two short. So it might be taken. Call it fourth down and three. That's King and LaRoche in the backfield. It's J.D. King. Powering forward down to the one. Not a touchdown, but it looks like he got the first down as he felt. All right, we are back. They waved that off, actually. The near side referee had signaled for a first down, but it was actually called back by one of the other judges. At around the two-yard line, so Georgia Left Southern knee. not getting the first down there. Oh, wow. It's intercepted. It's Rashad Bird around the 15. Touchdown, Southern! Touchdown. 
All right, get it done, the defensive captain. And that's the for 41. That is a close one, but it gets it through. Now we go to a break on ESPN. This is looking like it's going to certainly be the highlight of the year offensively so far. That went out of the end zone, and we will do it again. So New Mexico State, at this point, you Our passing has been very limited. Eagles only bring four. Atkins drops back, goes out of the backfield to Huntley. Falls forward for a first down. Great balance. I think we'll see more for New Mexico State there. And there's a chance by the time we get to the fourth quarter that Chad Lunsford may call off the dogs. We'll see. Outside to Huntley. Great balance once again. Got ejected against Coastal Carolina. He had to step in a true freshman for Bonaire, Georgia. Played a majority of, of the... Of, you can choose the red shirt if you're a freshman after the first four games of the, that you play in the season. So it'll be very interesting to see what Singletary does following this game. A couple of those green. And I like the new rule, having freshmen be, being able to choose whether the red shirt or not because you get a chance to see where they're at. You get to grade their athleticism. By Jared White, and really that was the first time today that we've seen Josh Atkins' arm look really live. Well, I think one has to be their best since early in the game. Since the first quarter when they scored the touchdown. And that was based off a good field positioning after the fumble. Field. That's exactly right. Great throw over the middle. Back. Everyone else just has one. Well, I don't think Speaking Atkins, of Huntley, there he goes, yeah, close I, to the first down. I don't think that Atkins has a designated target or a go-to guy as of right now. I think he's just trying to find the open man and just trying to make plays down. Three today on fourth down. Atkins with some time. Out of the backfield to Huntley. Turns up field to the 32, and I don't think he got it. Eagles are signaling. Yeah, great job there by the Georgia Southern defense. New Mexico State had something going at first, but unable to keep it moving. On the ground, J.D. King gets a good push, and let's go down to the sidelines to Amy Zimmer. What do you have, Amy? Greg, coming into... That's exactly right, because not only did the Eagles want to prove to themselves that they can handle a game that should be handleable on their part, but again, you need to know that headed into the hardest stretch of your season, because if you thought... The Forward. Third down and two... LaRoche and King in the backfield. They'll feed J.D. What a great game he's had. He's to midfield for a first down and a gain of seven. I mean, how about that? Both Wesley Kennedy and J.D. King. Work way too hard to not have fun and that they still this week are going to get lit. His exact words, he said, get lit. Greg, back to you. Well, we know that no multiple million of views on ESPN's social media platforms. I saw it was picked up by Yahoo by Barstool. I mean, you and I were texting the next day. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. Made Sports Center that Sunday morning. Made Monday night countdown that Monday night. And like you said, Greg, a little more bomb but never hurt anyone. Southern here as we get ready to get into the meat of the fourth quarter. Up 41-7 to on the Aggies. Here's Speedy LaRoche driven down in the backfield. And who else? Game manager, but I'll tell you, it's, it's, a, it's a good sign if you're a Southern fan that he doesn't have to go out and win you this game today like Sometimes earlier this year, there have been times. Well, I think more than anything, it's just great to see Shy Words back in a form that he was last season. That we feel like we know a little bit more compared to earlier this season. Here is Wurtz on third down. He's got LaRoche, but he threw behind his man, and he's dropped for a loss by his own two feet. First time in the second half. And here's the kick from Beck. Short one to the 20. And that's going to be great for Georgia Southern. Touchdown at the one by Najee Thompson. Anthony Beck has been so impressive since he took over that starting time this season. The life of an independent, huh? Well, yeah. They're pinned down here inside their own five-yard line. They'll go to Gibson. He's been their star running back today. He's up to around the 14-yard line for a first. For Sean Bird and Raynard Ellis, the linebackers have been stars these last couple of weeks, huh? On the ground they go. This is Gibson again. Up toward the 20, goes shoulder first, shy of the first down, but... Enders. The guy give a lot of credit to Scott Sloan. No kidding, second down and short here. Shoulder first and a first down for Gibson. Now if I didn't know better... For the Aggies here today. 
Here they go again. New first down. They keep running to this near side as they hand off to Huntley, and he's got a short game. Conference. They've continued to play each other these last couple of years. Yeah, and I, I think this might be the last time they faced Dorothy Southern for a while. Big run here from Huntley. Yeah, he's trying to make an impact before they say goodbye. Huntley chased down around the 15-yard line and taken down, which is the Big Sky Conference up in the northwest with teams like Eastern Washington, Montana, Montana State. After the big 56-yard run from Huntley, they go to Gibson and back to around the line. It's always interesting. You see the rain can't forget starting. That to can't forget the TV money, too. <laughs> Boy, the rain has picked up a lot here. and it's a, That's probably why you're seeing more running plays here from the Aggie. He's 13 for 21 with two picks and no touchdowns. And they're not even going to risk it. They'll give to Gibson, and he's brought down for a loss on the play. It's Ellis who got there first again. Ellis along with big siege situations. Made a couple people's eyes pop at Clemson, that's for sure. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Atkins steps up and down he goes. And it's Dylan Springer. And that's a turnover on the party's on in Paulson. He's starting against Maine and Minnesota, making that game close. Yeah, he was really amazing considering he kept them in that Minnesota game and in the lead until the final 15 seconds. That game was a real heartbreaker as they feed to Ocean up. Short gain there, so I'll be interested and impressed a lot of people. And he's going to guide this ship for the next seven and a half minutes. LaRoche, short gain that'll bring up third down and six or third down and seven after. All right, third down and six. Caleb Hood goes in motion. We really have not seen him much today. Here goes Gerald Green and taken down from behind. He could have gotten a couple more. And he blew me away. I was there in person watching, and I couldn't believe it. Didn't quite get the right side of his foot on that one. That one bounces around the 45. Takes an Aggie bounce to the 46. That'll take us down into a break. Eagles still rolling here. Student section is not quite as big this week as it was last week, Danny. I love the kids stayed. That's great. I mean, yeah, it's homecoming weekend. It's a homecoming game for Georgia Southern. A lot of fans coming out support the Eagles. I mean, they saw the seven game. Well, I'll tell you, this is a team that looks excited to play a couple of days from now as they go to the Rock up to App State as Huntley takes the carry there, gets near the sticks today. Well, you have to remember as, as well, Greg, they wanted to come out here and play for their fallen eagle and Jordan Wiggins after what happened. It's been a rough week for the Aggies have not scored a touchdown since the opening drive of the game about four minutes in. Gibbs going to try to get a win up there in the rivalry game at App here on third down and nine. It's Huntley. He's not going to get it to the 35. And you know, because again, it's not just that one game. Well, here's the thing: you know, Appalachian State def. All right, so we have fourth down here. It looks like we have a timeout on the field. I'm wondering if it's an official timeout because the scoreboard said road games once they play App State because they have a couple brutal ones coming up on the back end. Good punt here for New Mexico State. And Eagles will take it about the 10-yard line. So six home games this year for Georgia Southern. So ULM and Georgia State, the final two to close it out. That one's off the hands of Tomlin. He falls in and around the seventh. And you think about it. All right, maybe get a New Year's Six Bowl. I mean, they could finish the season undefeated. They beat North Carolina. Here's Gerald who's, Green. Who's to say they won't beat South Carolina in a couple of weeks? That's very possible. Is Green, Louisiana? We'll just have to wait and see. Right. And will they remain undefeated? Will this momentum from Georgia Southern carry over to Thursday night? Third and two. Green scampering for the first down around the corner, and he's going to get it. Great job by Green. Southern was there. It was cold and dark and rainy. And actually, that's pretty much what it was like last year here in Statesboro, too, for this time of year. Green spins past the 30. That ball is on the ground. And it's recovered by New Mexico State. Jason Simmons. Last two weeks, maybe this helps prepare Georgia Southern for what they have to deal with in Boone. Swing out to the far side, and he just undershot his man. Second down. I mean, yes, at the same time, joining the, con the same conference in the Sun Belt. Team. 
big weekend for college football around these parts. You have Georgia Southern App State on Thursday, and then you have Georgia Florida on Saturday. That's Huntley spinning his way forward. Big rivalry weeks. Of course, you always yeah. have the rivalry week at the very end of the season, final week. But also around this time, you have some big rivalry games as well. I think you probably have your, your viewing play. All right, inside a minute to go in this one, though, in Paulson Stadium. Here's Huntley. Southern defense trying to end this thing with just the one. Your defense have been, has been great. The offense has been great. I mean, both Kennedy and J.D. King with big performances. Both with Southern defense trying to keep it at seven out of pride. That's not going to get anywhere near enough yardage. Southern defense comes up big, and that's pretty much going to end this thing here in Statesboro. One more knee is all it's going to take for Georgia Southern. Being able to put it away in regulation like this has to be very relieving. And that's going to do it. Georgia Southern finishes off New Mexico State 41-7, and they are on to the Mountaineers. Danny, that's going to be probably the game of the year for this team. More than likely. So now you got to put this game behind you. A, a big test ahead of you. With Appalachian State on Thursday, everyone's got to lock in and be focused and they want to try to get the win in Boone. Wes Kennedy for Sunbelt Player of the Week, yes? Yes, absolutely. All Over right, so this was, a, this was a fun one, a rainy one, a windy one, a wet one for the second consecutive week. And both times, Georgia Southern comes out with a win on top of Coastal Carolina and now 41-7 to against New Mexico State. For everybody here on our broadcast crew, including my color commentator Danny Waugh, Amy Zimmer on the sidelines, I'm Greg Talbot saying so long from Paulson Stadium where it's another big win for the Eagles. All games are live and archived on the ESPN app, and this has been a proud presentation of ESPN.